so hello folks uh, in the previous video we learned about how to make a storage bucket using cloud console and cloud cell so now in this video we are going to make a marketplace by use of marketplace to build a Jenkins continuous integration environment so if you want to read about this thing you can scroll down and you can read from here basically Jenkins is an open source continuous integration environment and the whole thing you can google it so now let's start with our lab 2 that is infrastructure preview so let me do these things so as you can see I logged in the account as given here now I just want to exit these things so basically first of all we need to see our objectives what we are going to do in this lab we will use marketplace to build Jenkins verify that you can manage the service from Jenkins and administer the service from VM host through SSH basically through this SSH we are going to restart and, and shut down the service by basic commands we will see later those commands now we will go here and on going through navigation menu going marketplace and then we will locate where is Jenkins we can search here through I just searched here and there are many results it is looks like that we won't uh, so what we are going to search is this here we got our environment by Bit Bitnami so you have click over this and launch basically we are installing this environment for our lab so we need to see these things that deployment is Jenkins on so on just you need to scroll some these things and accept and deploy basically we are doing deployment and we will we are here to read the service provided by this software so here you can see the so here as you can see these things are installing I, I don't know why it's taking so much time not so much but uh, it's all depend on your internet connection so it's an overview of Jenkins what it consists basically firewall firewall some files generated password instance vm instance so let's let this finish then we will go on to our next step so in this task we are just doing this we are only have we only have to see what is Jenkins and how we can use this and what is the answer of this it is so it is a deployment manager basically so here you can read this Jenkins is an open source continuous integration environment you can define jobs in Jenkins 
that can perform tasks such as running schedule, build of software, and backing up data. So let's see what this consists of. And if I want to deploy something, I can deploy from here. Okay, okay. Uh, we will see this later because first, first we need to finish our lab. So now I'm going to close this and go back to uh, here. So now we will check whether the lab is completed or not. Yeah, we have successfully completed our task 1. Now the task 2 is examine the deployment. So you can go here and so now we will see more about the software. Uh, here you can see what software it has downloaded did now we will go on this side and with this admin user and password I just copy and here I paste and sign in so here we are going to see what basically the Jenkins is, what it uh, never. So here you can create a job. Uh, uh, let's try this. Enter a name. Let food is a job and freestyle project external folder uh, freestyle product and let's start now what the google cloud platform provides you quick lab to perform not this task actually this task too but you have to configure all these things yourself so here you can build environment build triggers trigger is basically a thing where you want to go by just clicking so this is you know what our lab has been completed but here you need to deploy these things if you see with my eyes <laughs> let's pull something configure let's go into configure pull them user email address you can access its public keys okay so let's see what we have to do uh, we have done till this software install working properly the next time you will open SSH terminal to the VM where service is hosted so basically SSH terminal session to a VM where service is hosted VM virtual machine is a thing where we can host our services we can control our administrative services uh, so you can check these things and now I will complete my lab because it's already taken 15 minutes and then going here I will go here and then when I will mm, oh wait wait what I have done Now if you see there is something that it, uh, it is written at you can go into manage Jenkins uh, dashboard here manage Jenkins and you, you can look you can look these things 
what it deals with it uh, and then we will go on to our next task navigation menu and deployment manager so i will go here and search for deployment manager yeah here deployment manager we will click on jenkins Uh, and here you can see SSH. I will click over this and give all uh, these commands. Uh, yeah, I told you that SSH in this layer we will use SSH to shut down and restart the service. Uh, here it is. It is here. So we will. I will just copy here. and paste here and enter so you can see it is written at uh, stopping services now refresh the browser and windows then you will no longer to see Jenkins interface and we shut down let's check this too yeah it's totally correct but I have to I want to explore more doesn't matter then we will again restart the service restart so it is the starting service and I close the tab let me open yeah you can see the things are under control again so let me do this again and sign in again so the SSH command restart the service so you can note this commands too for restarting and shut down the services only a bit NAMI so yeah this task is continue and we can end our lab so now I want you all to subscribe the channel and you must explore the things before your time before your end time scores and I want you to see my last lab too in which I have told about how you can create a bucket yeah, uh, so thank you.